get that fan. This fan. I told you about herb. If you want to know about herb, if you think I don't know things, I can tell you a lot of things. I can tell you about how some of the biggest bosses that go, those banksters, yeah. I can tell you how even one of them kind of almost got a lot of his power, yes, in the 1980s. Morgan Stanley, I can tell you a lot. How even Morgan got to run up with Goldman with the secret computer project, RTQ. I can tell you a lot of things. If you think ganja, people's afraid of ganja. People's afraid of herb. Oh. I remember... Look for, I don't even know if I, after college or whatever, to smoke herb. All right. I want to tell you about His Majesty. Negus Nagas, King of Kings. King Selassie I of Ethiopia. Because people end up and they don't have any order in their life. So, um, People don't have order. The people need order. You know that? People need order. People need leadership and teaching. People can't figure it all out. But they got fools. That's gone. That was a long time ago. The, um, that was a long time ago. What the fuck? This was okay. This wasn't even what I. This is what I just do when I found PowerPoint. I was a programmer, but when you're creative and you do things, um, and you know, I knew something was so terrible back there the way things. Yeah. The budget process, but the um, the bonus structure there, that was the most devastating thing to work in the Morgan Stanley. Principals, managing directors, corporate schizophrenia. This is about re-engineering. This is back in the 80s. In the computer department. You know, this is, they had a problem with, they had a problem with these type of people. What you do with, there's a few geniuses back there, the Morgan and the computer department, in the mid 80s. Um, There's one.
This was about how to organize a technical department, how you leverage, this is how you leverage intellectual capital. This is how you leverage intellectual capital, not in a hierarchical organization. Study Conway's Law. Okay, people, you want to study Conway's Law? Study Conway's Law. Okay, now, right, let me, do I want to get off of that? What is this saying? Oh. This was the last time when I was up in Technological maturity curve. Oh boy, I remember a lot of things now. Starting to remember things. My God. Part two. What is this supposed to be about? Part two. Oh, the king. You have to. Okay. You need some order, people. All right. I serve King Selassie. I. Through him, I know Christ on earth. He is my earthly king. Through his majesty's teachings who I follow, I know Christ's spirit on earth. If you want to study King Selassie I, go look up, and you should. Go study the last couple of paragraphs of his Study King Selassie's speech, October 6, October 10th, October 6, 1963, at the United Nations. At least study the last two paragraphs. It tells us we have to look to Almighty and to ourselves and be something we have never done before. It doesn't tell us too much book things. His Majesty knew about the secret cults working too. You can also, because. Cinco de Mayo, is that Ethiopian Independence Day? I think in the 40s he gave a speech. If you search his, the YouTube on his Selassie I and the Cult of the Serpent, I think he called it. A serpent or Dragon King or Secret Cult. I don't know. Forget it, you don't study study this study his words at the united nations and study 
the last words when he was at Hotel David when the Romans came with the weapons of mass destruction, the coward Romans. You know them. The Freemason coward Romans who came and poisoned gas His Majesty's troops and people. His Majesty went to Jerusalem to Hotel David in 1946, that was, or 47. And he, the people there wanted him. He said, you are our king. Stay here. But he got coded off by the English and brought to England. But he gave a... He read a, a letter there at Hotel David. Um, you should hear him. His sister was there with him. His, he read it in French and his sister translated to England. And I will... I have the words here in case. I'll read the last... Where is it? If you search it, you have to search his sister to Shay. Is it Princess? Search for Princess Tashe. T S E H A Y. The hope of future peace and world happiness stands entirely let me start that over the hope of future peace and world happiness stands entirely upon the perseverance of the Christian spirit among people and individuals in order that there may be understanding and collaboration between men of good will. Give thanks, His Majesty. This was 1937, sorry. Oh, 1946 or 7, that's when they bombed Hotel David, the Ergun, the Prime Minister, the few, that's how you get to be a Prime Minister. Oh, I'm going to have to get to you. Oh, Father, help me. Not now. Not now. The teachings of His Majesty are very great. To know what it's like to have a king and to serve an earthly king is very great. As human beings, we need that. We need the leadership. We need that. If you want to be leaderless and sit down in a, as a one leaf or whatever, fine, but how we develop we you, you see things have gone way out of balance people study his majesty Bob Marley took the words from that speech at the United Nations straight words for the song war okay it's a very famous song you also notice that John Kennedy was killed one month after his majesty was in New York and those two were Exposing secret societies. Yeah. Those two are great men. John Kennedy and His Majesty. Okay. John Kennedy and His Majesty were great men and were working for you and for freedom for people and it's not easy and you see what happened Did, so that's enough for right now